I will now address questions about how often you should train with Katsu. How much should you do in a week or in a day? If we think about hormones, growth hormones are released after Katsu. Katsu easily produces growth hormone. So, growth hormone peaks 15 minutes after you finish Katsu and decreases after an hour. During this same period, various hormones, such as IGF-1, are released. You can think of Katsu in this way. If you train once a week, and do Katsu once a day, the effects will fill you up for that day, and the next day or two, but not more than that. If you use heavy weights, you tear your muscles tissues, so at most you can do it twice a week, and that will be the extent of your training. However, with a cycle like this, whether you're an elderly person, an injured person, or a woman, you can just let the Katsu cycle, do its thing. If you do the Katsu cycle twice a day, you will feel so refreshed and energized, you will see how good you feel. That's also evidence of the diverse hormones that have been released. So, I recommend doing Katsu twice a day. For example, you don't do it right after waking up, but once you feel awakened, and you have started your day. Then you can do Katsu cycles while you are working. You can do Katsu cycles while you work, or while you clean your house. The Katsu cycle takes a little over 4 minutes, so if you do about 2 Katsu cycles, that's enough. After that, it would be ideal if you do Katsu twice a day, at different times of the day, either in the early evening, or during the night. Another question is about, the so-called baby boomers, as they are known in the US, or the generation of Dankai in Japanese, meaning elderly people. I rarely see a doctor, an internist, a surgeon, or a specialist. I never get sick. So really, I am very confident in saying, that Katsu training can help you stay healthy. In that case, people over 65 years old, are baby boomers in Japan, the US, and I believe in South Korea. However, as we age, more and more of our cells, fall asleep, become unusable, and degenerate. It happens even to young people, and if you don't use your muscles, your body degenerates. When you are injured, and have a cast, your legs become atrophies. It's similar. If you don't use your body, it degenerates, but if you use it moderately, it develops. However, in the case of Katsu, you don't need any weights, so you can simply do Katsu, while just sitting, and doing everyday things, as you can see here. So, you can get a good workout, even while talking. That's why, from now on, people over the age of 65, can do Katsu. It takes you back in time, to your younger self, when you were at your best, and brightest. Katsu has the amazing power, to make you go back in time. 
So, by all means, there is nothing more wonderful than, if the veterans of the baby boomer generation have this knowledge, and all people with abilities, and talents can retain their own young, physical strength. Imagine that, our baby boomer generation could save an entire country. Please go and build up your young bodies, again with Katsu. Another question is, about the Katsu workout and training of baby boomers. Baby boomers come from all walks of life, including those who have been training all their lives. For example, there are those, who have been training in the field, running or jumping, jogging, marathon running, road racers, weight trainers, and so on. Or we could have those, who never exercised at all. For those individuals, the method is different. First, I considered people who don't exercise at all, their physicality starts to decline considerably when they reach about 65 years old. Their muscles, their blood vessels, the cells of their body, all decline. Then, if the person can walk, then walking exercises will be the maximum limit of their workout. 